one. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? be enough for a table. Aha! That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom! Bread! Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hmm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. Mm, fresh bread. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Jesse. Hello. Hey, Ivor. There's been something I've been wanting to say. It's about how you saved me back there in that game. I... I really appreciate it, Jesse. I... Ugh! I couldn't have done it without you is what I'm trying to say. Of course I saved you, Ivor. We're friends. Well, yes. And I suppose that is very lucky for you, isn't it? Glad you're in this with me, Ivor. Me too, friend. Here! Oh! Boy, response! Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. Jesse! I really hope you've got our stuff, because I'm not liking being armorless here. So, I guess that's a no on my journal, too. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. <sighs> Give it to me straight. What did Harper get us into here? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry, we're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well that's not so bad. Of course, if we lose, we, um, spend an eternity mining for quartz through that portal. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... Uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Tim seems fantastic. Well, you're out of those minds now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. 
you might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting. You being here. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point. But you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I just hope this next event isn't too... deadly. Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the games. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. Certainly fond of their own voices, those three. I can't wait to hear what today's event is. Oh my gosh, I'm so sick of these pompous jerks. Yes, I can't say I'm terribly fond of them either. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? Oh great, a run for my life. Just what I was hoping for. Bad knees, Beardo. Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I think we can win because you're not as good as you think you are. You're cocky. Why don't you some bold little so-and-sos? Watching you burn is going to be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. M wanting to work together. Hmm. I'm not surprised. We are very charming. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> Come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. Oh, come on, Em. You expect me to believe that? What are you up to here? Nothing, honest. It's just watching you negotiate with Hadrian, trying to get home. It inspired me. Made me want to go home, too. We should be working together. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, 
to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. I'm glad she'll be on our side. At whatever a Gladiator Junction is. I don't know about this, Jesse. Cardio isn't really my thing. If I were Hadrian, I'd be up to some suspicious activity. Come on, Ivor. I know you can unleash the fury out there. Show them what you got. You're right, Jesse. I'm going to show those old builders what Ivor is made of. See? I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together. And I'm glad that M like totally suggested that. We can do this. Uh yeah. I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors on your mark. Get set. <laughs> 